Hello everyone, my name is Jackie. In this video, I'm showing you guys how to download and install FSR frame generation mod in any games that support it, so let's get started. But before that, in order for this mod to work, you need an RTX 20 or 30 series GPU, because what this mod does is it will replace the grayed out DLSS 3 with the FSR 3 frame generation, so if you have a GDX or RX card, you might want to find other frame generation alternatives like Luke FZ, Pure Dark, or LSFG. And another thing to note is that this mod only work in official DLSS 3 games, because it will use DLSS 3 pipeline to give you FSR frame generation, so this is not the actual DLSS 3 like in 40 series GPUs. The good thing about this mod is that it's free, and you can use it with the DLSS together and you don't have to use FSR upscaler to make use of this FSR frame generation. Firstly, open your start menu and type in graphics. Select graphics settings. Click on change default graphics settings at above. Previously, we need to enable this hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. But just in case you are not already, make sure you enable this and then just reboot your system. After that, open your browser and look for Nukem's frame generation mod or just click the link in the description. Make sure you land on this Nexus mod's official page and not anywhere else. To download the mod, click on this files tab. By the time I'm recording this video, version 0.90 is the latest version available here. So click on the manual download button here to download it. Click on slow download button here if you have free account. After you have done, extract the file and then open it. We need to copy three files from this folder, and that's the disable signature registry, and then these two DLL files. Right click and select copy. After that, go to your game installation folder where you want to install this frame generation mod. For this example, let's try with Cyberpunk 2077. Now you have to find the executable file for that game. For Cyberpunk, the executable file are located in the bin folder, and then x64 folder. When you found it, you can right click and then paste the mod files that you just copied earlier. We are not done here yet. To make the mod work in the game, you need to apply this registry tweak by double clicking on it. When this box appear, just click yes. Now the mod has successfully installed in your game. This also applicable to any other games that has official DLSS 3 support like Alan Wake 2, Remnant 2, Horizon Forbidden West, and so on. You can try it for yourself and see if it works. For some reason, if you want to uninstall the mod, you just need to delete these three files that you pasted previously, plus the log file created. That's it. I hope this video was helpful, and if it does, feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.